The conversion of this type of cruise ship is certainly not a standard task for us. We had relatively old design templates from the 1970s. We focus on achieving the greatest maneuverability that ships can possibly achieve. It can be a challenge to work together in such a tight space. Hamburg, Germany. Becker Marine Systems, the experts in the field of radar engineering, are working on a very special project. Today we have the kickoff meeting for the MS Amera project. This is a retrofit project for an older ship. The biggest challenge is the short period of time we have, and of course that there is no possibility for adjustments to the shipyard. This means we have to work with the ship as it is, and can't make any changes afterwards. The rudder needs to be designed, manufactured and installed in only six months' time. Certainly an ambitious goal. As always, we don't deliver standard, ready-made products. Each rudder is individually adapted to the respective ship characteristics. Vigo in northern Spain. The engineering is completed. Here, using drawings from Hamburg, one of the most modern and effective rudders in the world is being built. Steel, with a thickness of up to 35 millimeters, is bent and welded until it becomes part of one of the most important components of any ship. The team's essential task, quality control. Everything must fit exactly, down to the millimeter. Today has been a bit special due to the many requests from the welders in the workshop. We check these type of measurements five to ten times during each shift. All components are unique and custom made. Today the focus is on the acceptance and delivery of the trunks. They are the link between rudder and steering gear, so special care is required especially when it comes to quality control. One of the most important things is the final acceptance test done by the class surveyor. Several quality tests guarantee the highest possible quality. We are quite satisfied with how we presented the trunk to the inspector, both in terms of internal visual inspections and visual inspections by the surveyor. Essentially, we're satisfied with the work that has been done. In the final step, the finished trunk, weighing more than six tons, only needs to be painted. Together with the second trunk, it will be shipped on time to Hamburg. Any mistake now, during transport, would be devastating. The tight schedule doesn't allow any delay and the manufactured rudder trunk doesn't allow any defects. The flap rudder from Becker Marine Systems is one of the most modern rudders in the world. The unique rudder profile with its flap, combined with the optimal use of the propeller cover, makes the ship much more maneuverable. Wear and tear, and thus service costs, are minimized by the use of the most modern materials. Everything depends on the correct rudder. Blom and Voss, Hamburg. The last turning maneuver with tugs of MS Prinzendam before the cruise giant is converted to the new and improved MS Amera. The ship, which is more than 30 years old, is being completely renovated. Work begins immediately after docking. The schedule is tight, and every day in dry dock is expensive. A few hours later, more than 600 workers from all over the world are working under high pressure to modernize the ship from the ground up. The old rudder is the first large component to be removed. A hole is cut in the stern for the installation of the new rudder. The new rudder system is literally the linchpin of the extensive renovation. 
Currently, the ship is equipped with semi-spade rudders, which means the full surface area is not turning. So we are now exchanging those rudders for flap rudders, which includes a main rudder blade with a movable flap at the end of the profile. This significantly improves the ship's maneuverability. Lohmann Foss has been building ships for over 140 years. The conversion of rudder systems is a growing part of the business. Efficient use of resources is one of the reasons. But even experienced shipbuilders don't have a 30-year-old ship in dock every day. The old rudders are now dismantled. Next, the trunk sections are burnt out so that our new trunks can be installed in the ship. The worst case scenario is, of course, that it doesn't fit. Well, we had relatively old design templates that came from the 1970s, so not all the measurements were included. The whole ship design templates were all hand-drawn, and we just had to work with that. To ensure that everything fits exactly into the construction and time schedule, Becker Marine Systems inspects every part several times. Meticulous quality control during rudder manufacturing. There is simply no alternative. The worst case would be that we have a weak welding seam that tears, or that there is corrosion. I say worst case, the rudder falls off. And then the ship is somewhere out on the water, bobbing around. And of course we want to avoid that, so we check if everything is alright. Manufacturing a rudder is teamwork. Everyone has to be able to rely on their teammates and also supervise each other's work. Everyone is available around the clock so that if problems arise, you can take immediate action to achieve the best possible outcome. Under special focus today, painting the trunks. Quality control with the finest measuring instruments. So we work with the paint in the micrometer range. A micrometer is a thousandth of a millimeter. We now have a layer thickness of 250 micrometers for the first layer and 250 for the second layer, which means that in the end, we need at least 500 micrometers. From my side, it's going great. I finished the last points in the documentation. Now only the sockets need to be inserted, and then it's ready for installation. The trunk is the interface between the ship and the steering gear. This requires extensive steel work on the stern of the ship. The effort is worth it. The old rudder can't handle the new challenges for the cruise ship. High maneuverability and efficient travel are required. Becker Marine Systems offers modern solutions here. The MS Amera will be much more agile with the new rudder. The core mission for the rudder experts. Becker Marine Systems, is Becker Marine Systems specializes in maneuvering and propulsion systems for ships, especially cruise ships. We focus on achieving the greatest maneuverability that ships can possibly achieve, and we constantly strive to improve the performance efficiency of the ships. The biggest challenge until then the tight schedule for the reconstruction. The conversion of this type of cruise ship is certainly not a standard task for us, especially not in just six months. You have to rely on excellent people who are working intensively on the engineering and are carrying it out very quickly and purposefully. The Prince and Dam is now called Amera. A little paint and a new name aren't the only innovations. The trunk and other important components are now in place as well. Everything is on schedule. Today we mounted the starboard rudder stock, which is crucial for us to go on with the next steps. The steering gear will be mounted today. Next we'll check the alignment of the rudder stock again to make sure we have the neutral position we need to mount the rudder blade. Only when the rudder systems are precisely positioned can they deliver their full performance. Even small deviations are unacceptable. Becker Marine System sees itself as a problem solver. Any ship, any size, any design. The Hamburg-based company always has the customized rudder at hand. The advantages with Becker rudders, the ship saves energy and is more efficient. The increased maneuverability means that tug costs are eliminated in many places. Just some of the many advantages of Becker rudder systems. 
It's finally time for the rudder blades to be mounted to the ship. They weigh several tons and keep the cruise ship on course. Full concentration is required. Carelessness would be devastating for the upcoming assembly. Added to this are more difficult conditions in the dock. Today the team is also working on the propeller, mounting the propeller blades. When it's crunch time it all happens together and sometimes it's a challenge to work together in such a tight space. But even the smallest dock has space. With a professional routine, the steel construction is assembled. The connection between rudder stock and blade is secured by a nut weighing several hundred kilos. The screw wrench is not a size you would find at a hardware store. We've brought the rudder into position. We fixed the nut that's mounted on the rudder stock and what we need to do now is mount the rudder flap connection and then we'll align the rudder flap with the entire rudder. Tomorrow morning we'll hopefully be doing the push-up test between the rudder stock and the rudder blade. Yeah, that's all for now. Twelve hours later, the Amera shines in a new splendor. The last welding work signals the final swing test of the rudder. A milestone for the Amera project, with the Becker team on site. We now have to prepare the rudder for the swing test. We have to make sure nothing interferes or breaks. Then of course we have to make sure that the people and equipment are out of the swivel range and when all this is sorted out we can start to turn the rudder. The rudder is in position. In the steering gear room of the ship, the electricians are working on putting the steering gear into operation. Later, the rudder will be controlled from the bridge. However, before further work can take place, the function of the rudder and the steering gear must be checked. A decisive moment for the success of the project. The atmosphere, inside and outside, is tense. And then... Relief. The rudder is turning. The experts are satisfied. The situation is this. We have successfully completed the rudder swing test, as expected. The rudder does what it's supposed to do. It steers. The next steps will be that we close everything else up, including the mounting covers. Everything has to be welded and checked. Then, of course, we'll have to paint a lot of it. And when that's done, the ship can dock out. One night shift and lots of sweat and paint later. The flap rudder was mounted in record time. The next step is a three-day sea trial during which the captain can familiarize himself with the new, improved rudder. Becker Marine Systems brings not only the right expertise, but also the necessary experience to the dock. Flap rudders from Becker Marine Systems have been used for more than 70 years. Suitable for every ship size and type, the rudder offers all the same advantages to very large vessels as it does to more compact vessels. From the trawler to the container ship, the flap rudder from Becker Marine Systems is a multi-talent. The MS Amera is ready for departure. Under the direction of the Hamburg Elbe pilot, the more than 200 meter long ship will set off today for its first voyage with a new name and a new rudder. Now it's time for the sea trial. The ship has two new control elements, and with these new control elements, the maneuvering characteristics have changed. So we have to find out in detail how they have changed. And we're now on our way there. On the Elbe River, we will make our first impressions and write our first reports. And then, it starts. The captain maneuvers the ship from the pier towards the Elbe. 
But what is the first impression? The first impression is excellent. We've just cast off now, maneuvering with only one rudder at a time. But even with the one rudder, the captain just said, it's moving great. And that's a statement that can be put to good use. Now we're traveling at three knots, the current is still coming from astern. Even when we were traveling slowly at a 10 degree rudder angle, you could feel it immediately. It's obvious that something has changed for the better. After only six months, the Becker Marine Systems team has engineered, manufactured and installed a unique rudder for the MS Amera. A retro cruise ship has become a modern, efficient and above all, agile cruise ship. Becker Marine Systems wishes you a safe journey.